we didn't get all the objectives. So the time pod counts as an objective. So I can't. I don't have any bonuses. I don't have any bonus rewards. So I'm gonna go into the final battle just like this. <laughs> Three damage, two damage, one damage, and we're gonna go into the final battle. <laughs> Beat the game any length without spending any reputation. Wild. Alright, well. What could possibly go right? Okay, that's just attacking me. I can just not stand there. Alright, you do that. Well, no, I'm gonna have you fall into the lava and then you can block. Right, that's good. You have to kill that guy. One, two, three, four. All right, you just shoot there. You repair yourself. Knock him over. Four enemies spawn this turn, though. This is gonna be rough. So I have to take one damage there, I think. You do that. You... Oh no, I could have used this. Let me reset the turn then. But to use that, I have to go into the fire. goes first and then I mean do I I can body block there but do I get set on fire next turn because look now I'm on fire when the shield comes back up am I still on fire I am still on fire.
That thing dies to fire. Do I take this damage? Do I sacrifice Mafan? <laughs> Oh no, I just come here and I repair the fire. I don't I don't actually know. Like if I just stand here, does the fire burn me? If the, if I'm on fire underneath the shield, does it burn me? I I don't actually know. Anyway, I repaired the fire, put out the fire and then just tank the hit with the shield. All right, good. That went better than expected to be honest. Now we have the boss fight. And show you the lava. What do I do about this? I should have done that differently, right? I should have used this to push that to there to kill him. And then I use a shield to body block that guy. I guess it doesn't make too much difference in the end. Like it makes a little bit of difference, it doesn't make that much difference. Can I do something other than body block? No, right, because I can't I can't push him that way. Alright, so you're just gonna body block. Um I'm gonna move this guy this way. I'm gonna keep them closer together if possible. I'm not sure if that helps or not. There are a lot of enemies on the map. Fire at no, I can't just fire at nothing. I like being on fire is a bad idea, probably. Gonna go ahead and that attacks first, that's fine. Kill the fly. If in, if I can always just sacrifice a pilot, actually. <laughs> I mean, probably shouldn't sacrifice your pilots for no reason. Right, great. Okay, this is good. I am going to... So now the environment kills him. Oh, 
I can't kill them. Oh, real? <laughs> you can't... If I do this and fire this way, I fall in the lava and I die. If I stay here, I die. Wow, it's incredibly bad. Incredibly bad. I can't stop that, because if I stay here, I die. So we sacrifice those two there. I'm just gonna heal here and block here. Alright, we lose two power two power grid. That guy's gonna die next turn, that tank. But I can also sacrifice him, he's not my fun. <laughs> we don't mind sacrificing him. Basically sacrificing two more power grid there. Push you that way. You can go in the lava. <laughs> What's more important, power grid or this guy's life? <laughs> I can sacrifice him to save the power grid. <laughs> you know what? You can sacrifice yourself for the greater good. <laughs> it makes no difference. We're gonna beat the uh, beat the game. Alright, good, we beat it. We got one of the achievements. I mean, it says lucky start, but the more I think about it, the more I think that... Like, the weaker you are, the easier the AI is on you, right? The AI adjusts itself depending on how much damage you do and how many weapons you have and you know how much we can move the enemies around. So if you come in here with a really weak team, the game would just adjust the difficulty of the battle to help you. It doesn't quite work out that way. On normal difficulty, you can always beat the game, I think. On normal difficulty. Unless like if if you if you lose the game you mess up somewhere. I think on hard difficulty that's not always true. But on normal difficulty, you can pretty much always beat the game. The, the AI will adjust itself to make it beatable. Alright, so we got one achievement. Now we need to find five time pods. And we need to raise the grid defense to 30% or more. Right, right. We don't want lightning mech, I don't think. Well, maybe we do. Maybe this is actually OP, now that I think about it. If we do have the lightning mech... So like, cannon mech, move people around, lightning mech... Just have to be careful how we chain things. I think the shield can be used to chain and tank one hit from that. And then the rocket mech is just strong. Right, let's try this. Let's try this. We are looking for time pods. Uh, you can go ahead and plus one damage. Um, this is hard. The exploding thing is hard with the chain mech. So let's go ahead and play this first, because I think this is the hardest with the chain mech. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's a shame that there's a there's a one star thing here. We do have like we can't skip this one. Freeze and defend both robots. 
Alright, Chain Mac, you stay far away. Cool, a time pod. We need to find five of those. Who are you shooting at? Right, right, so you can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and block that. Doesn't matter who shoots who. Let's have you zap that guy. You can pick up the time pod. Really? Is that how you want to do this? You go there, you shoot that guy. You... oh. I do two damage, right? Like, I can't... <laughs> I can't lightning this because I'll kill the, the robot. You go there. You... shoot that. Man, I'm... I'm not used to Mafa not having to worry about self-damage. <laughs> It's great not having self damage, look at that. You can stand on a spawn tile and also kill something. I can sacrifice this to block that. Let me not do that though. Alright, repair. Repair. Give experience to my guys who are not my fun. <laughs> self destruct. Uh, we're not going to use self destruct this time. So, what do I do with the core? Like, this is quite good, the damage there, that's... That we only have one unit that spawns smoke, so maybe that's not as good here. Let me build in chain there. And I think I want those next. We'll see. Defend the robot factories, right? You, you, and you. The explodey scion is a problem. Oh, good thing I just bought building chain, am I right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, you can. Oh, you can't. Well, you go ahead and kill that one. You go ahead and building chain. Awesome. And you can walk forward. that out, go ahead and zap that guy, go ahead and kill that robot. Uh, you go ahead and kill those two, go ahead and kill that guy, man this is super effective. <laughs> We're doing so much damage. I swear, this rocket mech. So what's good about it is that it does a lot of damage. Like, it does 4 damage when it's fully upgraded. It pushes enemies, and it also puts a, a cloud behind you. And the, the cloud behind you allows you to... So you can disable, like, 3 things in one move if you if you know what you're doing. Right, like, so that... Just doing that disables that guy as well. Isn't that cool? 